Hello, it's the Haunted Informer, and today I'm talking about Field of Screams 2019 brochure. So here is Field of Screams 2019 brochure. Starting off, they say, massive new hayride scene. Get excited for that, there's going to be a giant scene on the hayride, and I'll get into that soon. And here are the logos for all the attractions, the Haunted Hayride, the Den of Darkness, the Frightmare Assam, and Nocturnal Wasteland. And here's Bonjo, their entertainment area clown that runs around and scares people. Here he is on his stilts, jumping stilts, jumping around. And here they're showing you the logo of Nocturnal Wasteland. They tell you about it quickly here. And they tell you this year they are revamping scenes and changing the path. So even if you've been to Nocturnal Wasteland before in years past, the path will be different. They have moved it and changed it. And there will be brand new scenes in there. So definitely be excited for that. If you've ever been to Field of Screens before, you know some scenes are enclosed and you go in and the doors close down and you are stuck in that scene with the crazy inhabitants of that area. So this year they're going to have a giant area where there's going to be three rooms in a whole encapsulated area. So that's going to be very intense and it is going to be called the Shade Cryogenic Mutant Testing Facility. So expect a lot of crazy mutants in there and there's going to be people that have been worked on by these crazy mutants and it's going to be pretty insane and since there's three rooms in there it's, there's going to be tons of detail to see what this new scene is like and it'll be a welcome addition to the haunted hayride for this year so here is the den of darkness and brand new in the den of darkness this year is the donner dinner party scene so that is based off of like the donner party where the people went crazy and started freezing and they start eating each other. So it's going to be a crazy cannibalistic dinner party. It's definitely going to be pretty messed up and I'm looking forward to see what they can do with this scene, see how gritty and gruesome and bloody and gory and how crazy they really go with the scene and I'm very excited to see the improvising the actors can do in the Here scene. Here is the Fright Marathon. The Fright Marathon they'll most likely have subtle differences like some new props or new animatronics. And like I said in my video before they are going to have year-round scares and I went into in detail and depth talking about my ideas for those attractions for those dates and I will put that video up in the corner. The other screens has their own mini escape rooms that are five minute escape rooms and they have three of them here the highest lockdown and captured all different and also here is the ad for extreme blackout which I am going to this year my first time going to extreme blackout and is entirely different version of Field of Screams than the normal fall season. You go to the normal fall season, the actors are crazy and intense and can touch you and get in your face and touch your hair and whisper in your ears and all that crazy stuff, but they can't hold you back in a scene and throw you in a special cage or do special interactions with you like giving you a special shot of like some nasty thing like pickle juice or something or have crazy scenes where you're actually locked in a cage or have a bag over your head. They can't do crazy things like that during the normal fall season. For Extreme Blackout, they do. They turn the lights down and turn the intensity up all the way. So it's going to be crazy and I'm very excited to see this version of Feel the Screams. And it's going to be very different and I know they changed parts of the soundtrack for it also. So I'm very excited to see that version of Feel the Screams. And if you're curious, currently it's $50 for a ticket online before November 15 and if you buy the ticket online or at Phil Screens the day of the event November 15 it'll be $60 and a VIP upgrade is $25. So here's their ad for their annual 5k zombie mud run and it sounds like a lot of fun and I've seen videos on YouTube about it and promotional videos for it and it looks like it could be a challenge, but lots of fun at the same time. Lots of zombies trying to take your flags, which represent your major organs. So, and if you have all three flags taken, you are deemed dead. And at the end of the run, once you finish it, you will get a shirt, if you want to, that says infected. But if you do win, you'll get a shirt that says survived. And you get a medal for it. They also do a night version of that. So you can run either the day or the night and that will be on November 16th, Saturday, November 16th. And if you guys didn't know, Field of Screams does have a separate part of their property and it's called Corn Cob Acres. And they have lots of fun things to do there. They have a little corn maze. They have all kinds of fun things like paint a pumpkin. So they have lots of kid friendly things there. And they actually are adding brand new improvements, big improvements to Corn Cob Acres this year, a new event that they teased at on their Facebook, Corn Cob Acres Facebook but you don't know what it is yet. 
and they're opening very soon they're actually opening august 31st so very soon so here are all the ticket prices for field of screams and the best value is easily a screen pass it's 35 dollars and you get into all the attractions the frightmare song nocturnal wasteland den of darkness and the haunted hayride money if you buy a screen pass instead of an individual ticket for each attraction and it is the best value ticket wise and this calendar here will tell you whether it is really busy on the day you want to go and you can schedule ahead of time right. at the very back here here is the key that tells you what the days the colors on the calendar mean of telling you what the least busy days are to the most busy and what events are happening and here are coupons you can use for ranging from the scream shop to buying games game pass which is a pass that gives you access to all the games and they will be open on Thursdays in October so those days will definitely be a lot less busy than the weekends when everyone's off their job and everyone wants to go to a haunted attraction and have fun and get scared so I definitely recommend going on a Thursday because it won't be as busy or if you want to go on a Sunday and I think a perfect day to go to a haunt is a Friday and this year I'm actually going to go to Field of Screams on media night on September 14th looking forward to it very much and I'm really want to see all the new scenes they have in there you hints towards what the new scenes are just gets me more excited for it and gets me ready for haunt season so here is the calendar events and this shows you all the bands that will play and all the events that are going to happen at Field of Screams on their stage area and their stage area is very close right next to the Down of Darkness and the Frightmare sign so that was the 2019 Field of Screams brochure I hope you enjoyed this video subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get a notification every single time I put out a new video. And I am on social media. I am on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. On Facebook, I am The Haunt Informer. So again, The Haunt Informer. On Instagram, my username is Haunt underscore Informer. So again, Haunt underscore Informer. On Twitter, my Twitter handle is at Haunt Informer. So again, at Haunt Informer. If you have any questions, definitely email me at hauntinformer at gmail.com. So again, hauntinformer at gmail.com. And as always... Happy hauntings.